two videos in one day what a bonus <laughs> we're back right this one a quick video here on how to test a temperature sensor the mister circuit so basically what we've got here we've got on the display outside temperature two dots so basically we've got no temperature displayed on the dashboard we go into live data I'm using KTS 590 as a pass through we go into live data you can see there ambient temperature minus 31 degrees and we've also got if we look if we go into trouble codes into trouble codes no trouble codes no DTCs okay so again we've got the KTS 590 connected by USB and a breakout box hi Mirel um, using pass through using the boss as a Bosch as a pass through Toyota Tech Stream so morning David so what we've got here basically the setup on the vehicle it's a Lexus 56 plate Lexus 56 plate Lexus RX 400 hybrid no temperature display on the dash the ambient air temp sensor is located here right at the front of the vehicle in front of the condenser so what we're going to do we're going to show you how to test this using very very simple test equipment so as with that as with um, anything mr circuit what we're going to see we're going to see a, a five volt reference we're going to have a ground and then the thermistor inside the sensor and um, what that actually does is pulls that voltage down using resistance um, resistance changes via temperature and that actually gives us a temperature readout on the dash so the first thing we do is ba basic uh, basic check to see what we've actually got at the sensor connected um, before we disturb anything so I've just got this back probed I've got my multimeter set up hopefully you'll be able to see the meter so what I'm going to do now all I'm going to do is get a couple of leads on a couple of probes on the end of I'll use that one for now so we're, we're referencing chassis ground at the minute and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into where that's back probed and let's see if we can get that in the shop for you I can't actually see the screen here now so I can't see the chat so all I'm going to do is go into one wire with my multimeter and then I'm literally going to just touch it to ground let's get the multimeter in the shot as well can you see the, the meter so that's my ground uh, that's my 5 volt ok so I've got 5 volts down to the sensor and then if I swap it over to the other wire So I've swapped it over to the other terminal now, touch to ground, and I've also got 5 volts. So what, do, what does that tell me? You see how that's flickering? That 5 volt that's flickering is going to be a bias voltage, you would imagine, back from the engine ECU. So what I would expect to see, if I've got 5 volt on both wires, I would actually expect to see a DTC for ambient air temp, but I'm not doing and that's using the dealer tool so what forgot missing what have I got missing so what I've got here is a test light connected up Test light connected up to battery positive. So I know that I know I've got five volts on one of them wires. I 
number plates are falling off, that's not good. Let's get it out of the way. Disconnect the sensor. This is the problem with doing live videos. It's raw and live. Can't get the sensor disconnected. This is where I break my own car, folks. There we go, she's disconnected now. So let's have a look at them voltages again now. With it disconnected. So all I'm doing again, onto one wire, and then I'm referencing Jesse ground, we've got five volts on one wire. Change it over. And I've got zero volts on the other wire. Right, so if you remember on that one that's got the black probe on, when I first tested it with the sensor connected, I had five volts on both wires. What does that what does that tell us? That tells us that the sensor itself is intact and there's a circuit through it. So what we're looking for now is actually a break in the ground wire. We can verify that. We can verify that very, very quickly by getting our test light connected to battery positive. Yeah, so you can see that I'm just scraping it on ground, test light's lighting up. And all I'm going to do is put it into the black terminal there. This is um, current, it's basically a safe way of current limiting. Limiting. It only puts 100 milliamp through that. So if I touch that, that should light up. That should be my ground path. And it's not lighting up. So what we do is... We go... If you remember what Paul says we're going to find a broken wire or corrosion wherever there's heat or vibration so that loom goes up there up across the top of the condenser up, up, up to here ok, so I found a nice easy place to test the white wire, the ground wire I found a nice easy place to test that further up so all I'm going to do now bring my test light to that test point yes I'm using a piercing probe but I will seal it afterwards it's my own car so all I'm going to do is bring my test light there and you can see it's a little up so basically what that's proving is I've got a break in the wire between this point here where I'm testing and the back of the sensor dead easy so what I'll do for now is I'll just put just take this out me Decade box, just take this black one out. That's a cracking little tool, that. I'll show you how to use it. I'm going to do another video on that in a bit from autoditex.com, supplied by TFA Solutions. I'll put links in the video description when I, when I edit them after. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a jumper wire now. I'm going to go from here. And then the other end of the wire into that black plug there and plug it back in. It's hard to work well handy with the camera. Let's get the sensor plug back in first. Spent all that time getting the sensor out, and now we're going to plug it back in. And then for the next video, using the decade box, we're going to struggle, aren't we? Right, so that's plugged back in, back probed. 
So all we've done there, literally, we've looped, we've taken that bad section of wire out. And there we go. Outside temp, 10 degrees C. Hi, Mike. Hey, Solid. Hey, David. Who else have we missed? Let's have a look. Mirel. Right, so now we can go back into our data list. Ambient temperature, 10 degrees. So, <clears throat> there we go. That's how to test the temperature sensor thermistor. I hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching. Now all I've got to do is go and find that broken wire and repair it. <laughs> what a way to spend your Sunday morning. Thanks, folks. Catch you later.